that too long ago? That was definitely last season. Yeah, that was la definitely last season. But even so, you're probably going to see a lot of these um, these type of matches in winter semis at today's Xeno. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like oh, you said, it's stacked. You're right. Yeah, but with that being said, we're going to go into the Greninja Palo, a match that we see a lot. Um, you know, Venia has kind of a crap shoot with these Palus. Like, you know, Jen kind of gets better of him for the most part. Um, mm -hmm. But Venia against the other Palus does pretty well, I would say. Yeah. So. So literally, I think anyone can win this game. So the, the fact that one of these players could be going to losers this early on is astounding to me. Oh no, 100%. It's definitely a match that um, whoever goes to losers, I can see like making some crazy losers running. Uh, yeah. Getting back to like losers finals or something crazy. But it's tough bracket, man. Yeah, with that being said, um, starting on PS2, pretty much a given match right now. Punishing that dash deck on his shield with the down tilt, the Greninja classic, down tilt to imagination. Mm. Then with Palo, you know, again, both these characters are just going to be looking for aerial oh, good call out. You know, he's going to recover just like that yeah. into the up smash. Covers such a high, big distance, too, so he even goes for the up B. He'll yeah. catch that. And even if he tried to snap to ledge, it definitely covers um, below ledge also. So, yeah. you know, definitely not like it could cover a lot of it. It's a smart option coverage coming from Frozen. Yeah, man. Hey, good. I like that. He knew that Vinny was going to dash against him, so he just went for the short hop down air. Just catch him running below like a ninja. Yeah, the Palo down air out of shield is, like, such a great utility. Um, because it could cover at a um, dash tech on shield and it cover tech chase options, but with that being said, Vinny already takes a stop. Yeah, very doable for Frozen. Has him off stage again. Potential up smash with his name on it. Tries to go down with the drag down Nair. This is it because a Nair will kill at this percent uh, yeah. near the edge. Yeah, 100%. That's why you see Vinny kind of chill in mid stage because if he gets caught there, he, might, he has a chance of living. Yeah, and you see how Vinny is kind of center camping Palu, right? Like, Palu, Palu is a great character, and you get in her bubble that she kind of destroys you. Mm. But if you stay outside of her range and kind of poke at her and play in and out, she can have a little trouble with that, which is like some of what some of the players have been saying. Did you see that? That slide? was such Chris movement did from Venia. Did How did he do that? It? I didn't know that was a thing. Hey, I didn't know you could edge cancel Hydro Pump. Good stuff. Looking, looking, looking like Frozen That's here, so dangerous to do, <laughs> too. If you mess that up, like, you're dead. Just because yeah. it catches him with the explosive flame. He knew that Venia was chilling in the center of that Pokeball, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's definitely call out the Palu can do, man. Character with yeah. so many options. <laughs> Gotta be, an got be on the lookout. Yeah, man. But this by Frozen. Yeah, two stocks apiece. Frozen just needs one Nair to bring the combo damage oh, home, yeah. baby. 37. Not bad. Let's give it a B minus. Ooh, yeah. And uh, Benny immediately coming down with that Nair. You know, such a big hitbox. Uh, probably stuffed out the anti air option that Frozen had coming out. I think there's responses from Benny. He's waiting for Frozen to swing first before going for a punch. Afterwards, the news exactly where he's going to go with that warp. Waits for it with the down tilt. Could not get the up smash conversion afterwards. Yeah, and he, I, I like the thing he's doing with the Hydro Pump, just like pushing Palu even if he doesn't kill her. Pushing her in an unfavorable position. But with that being said, you know, Jake regaining stage control. This is scary. 147 off stage. Catches him before the warp even goes off to put him at a disadvantage. Now we're going back to chilling on the edge of the stage. Yeah, Venny, Venny does not, not really pressing forward like that. But uh, Frozen making the move, dash attacking through that, such a good move, great burst option by Palu. One thing I've noticed that Vinny's been doing just in the past year alone from Smash 4 to Ultimate, that transition, is he's been he's learned to like mix up his playstyle, you know? Because mm -hmm. he's always been known for like the guy who does not hold shield and just pushes forward. Yeah. But lately, you see right there, he was just chilling center stage, waiting for Frozen to make the first move. You saw Frozen just with his back towards Venia, throwing out constant back airs to try to like bait out like an aggressive approach. He's not doing it, he's not giving it to him. And yeah. And the thing about it is, like, you know, <laughs> after a while, you have to kind of learn, right? Yeah. Um, push forward too much, especially against these type of players. You're going to eat you're gonna, dirt. You're going to get blown up for it. Okay, another explosive flame. Frozen's kind of struggling to find the stock. Vinny's just playing so slippery. There. Yeah, and right now, you know, Frozen's just like kind of struggling to get this kill. Got the straight dash attack though. You know, Venia playing you know, such a great keep away game like you were saying. Not really pushing forward much and you know, Frozen's just trying to find a way to plug away but he's doing a great job walling off, you know, Venia's um, escape options. And every time Venia's on, like, on with that higher percent, he tries to chill center stage. At this point, I think Nero will kill him from no matter where because he's at 157. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not going to let him land. Did he use his double jump? I'm pretty sure he's out of resources. Yeah. There he goes. Had a fast fall. Spot dodge knows he's very hungry for the grab because the back throw will kill. Then he's going to capitalize off that. He has got maximum rage. Let's see if we can try to get this kill off of his dash attack. Yeah. Dash attack the forward at that percentage would have hit, but um, no. just Frozen boops. capitalizing. Yeah, just boops with the shield. Takes away the stock, but it might be too late, man. He's at 101. Yeah. 
Okay, but Harry doesn't capitalize, just wants to reset the neutral. And Venia playing really safe right now. You know, Frozen trying to get something started. Yes, got the strain there. Not too much damage off of it. I think he wanted to try to go for another grab afterwards, especially because Venia put up a shield. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Venia's looking to end this. Ooh, yeah, no, not enough. Great, great um, yeah, by Frozen. Because we had another back air, 148%, and struggling to get back onto that stage. You know, and also, you know, you can see Venia doing Hydro Pump in a way where he Hydro Pumps, but he doesn't, like, lose stage control. Sometimes you see Greninja do the Hydro Pump, and he's all the way at the middle of the stage. It's a, it's a smart option to go for when you, when you have him off stage. You might as well just throw out the watch, especially when you have so much control like Venia does with his upbeat. Yeah. Oh, and right now, you know, Frozen bringing it back. Yeah, that down tilt, very rare. rare. Yeah, it, you know, it's a medium move. It's just kind of slow. Mm -hmm kind of risk it throughout sometimes. Oh, oh. God, put in a bad position because of the Hydro Pump. That's going to seal his fate. That's game one going to Venia. Yeah, and some, that's something he's consistently going for. You know, just not outright killing Palu with the Hydro Pump because you're not going to do that. Palu has a really good recovery, but it's enough to kind of throw off Frozen's recovery and make him recover in ways that he doesn't want to. Mm. Indubitably. Sorry, I took a large swig of water because I'm dying. Uh, game number two. Yeah, we out here. Frozen with the counter pick. Often go to Battlefield. You saw many and got rid of the other triplats. Uh, Yoshi's story and then Lila. There's technically three platforms, so I guess it's not really like a traditional triplat, but it still has three plats. So going to one of the Battlefield decision for Frozen. Obviously, this is a great stage for Palo. Yeah, and I mean, it's also a great stage for um, Venia, but uh, Palo is definitely a character that can benefit from getting you on the platform, kind of locking you mm -hmm. there. So. Do you ever accidentally call Greninja Venio? I do it like all Did the I time. Did just do that? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, I do it all the time. You know, I, I didn't realize it, but now that you say it, I probably do half the time. It's like, it, it's one of those things when you have like your local player that just like play, is known for that character. Yeah, you just I mean, can't help yourself. He kind of looks like him too. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't see a snake tattoo on Greninja, man. Right, um, but, with that being said, you know. He's out of jumps? Yeah. Yeah, easy. Good that. recovery. Yeah, man. And Frozen's going for a lot of these up smashes at ledge. Because, um, like, sometimes you go off against Greninja, mm -hmm. miss, the, miss the edge guard, and then he's on stage and you're not. Yeah. <laughs> and it kind of sucks. And it's safe, because, like, right there, Frozen might as well go for the up smash, because if he whiffs, it's just, okay, he's still on the ledge. Yeah. You're still capitalizing on it. But if, you, but if it lands, it's low risk, high reward. You, you get the kill. Yeah, because as, as you can see, he's still in that. Um, Ledge trapping position and that counter. That was sus. Hmm. He, he was nowhere near him. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel like Venia just didn't see that coming whatsoever. Yeah, I, I felt like he thought the low profile was going to save him. Yeah. And he pressed nothing. He, he like, definitely oh. stood still. Yeah. It lands out the four air, set him flying. Up till out of jumps, gets yeah. the up air. You yeah, can't land on him like that. You saw Venia trying to press the issue too. Mm. Oh, yeah. Great explosive flame, uh. man. I feel like that seems to be the, the move that Venia seems to be struggling with the most, is Explosive Flame. Well, yeah, I mean, the, from the range he's playing, you know, that's going to be the move that's probably going to hit him the most, right? He's not really playing, you know, CQC with Frozen right now, per se. So, you know, calling out that mid-range option with a very strong, you know, punish is something that he, you know, Frozen can do with Palo. Tries to get back to the stage. The second he finds center stage, you got another dash attack coming up from Venia. Sets him up greatly with the down tilt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a DI in, but uh, I think in those situations that even if it wasn't... You know, I think Venya still would have got the kill. Yeah. yeah, good mix-up. Just a different map. Yeah, I'd go for a different option. Cr and that cross no. there? All right, good vet on Frozen waiting before going, committing to the warp. Opting to use his double jump instead. Yeah. Because he knows what will happen. I like that he got the hit off of that. Oh, I wasn't yeah. going to get anything off of it, just some free damage. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, right now, you know, Venya getting, you know, a little bit of this... A little bit of the momentum. Um, early on, it was you know it was a lot of frozen, but right now, and the the nature of Greninja, where he can just kind of like, oh my god, and again. Yeah. What I was gonna say is that the nature of Greninja is that he just naturally low profile stuff just by standing still. Sometimes you see Frozen trying to get the poke with the forward air that would normally hit like a human. Yeah. But uh. Yeah, he he does not stand like a human or character. No. And another thing with Greninja is it's like, Paolo tries to throw out her options, you know, to keep Greninja away. But then, Greninja has such great air speed and, you know, such great air mobility that he just punishes Palo for everything she does. Shouldn't that have killed? No. No, that's not true. Okay. Yeah, that's At that percent? Yeah, that's not true. You could be that way. All right, all right. Air dodge, yeah. Everybody's coming back. 
116. I like the he put the brakes on the semi solid explosive flame again, going back to center stage. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't want to play Paolo's game. Paolo wants you to play aggressive. Yeah, especially at 127. You run into Paolo, you're getting back on, and you're just like, haha, you died. Yeah, or Nair. Gonna get, gonna get the Okie doke. Yeah, man. Just like going right over those explosive flames. Look what happened. You know, he tried to get aggressive. He, he was spacing it correctly, though, with that down tilt. Just, uh, still got caught. Nair. Gonna be able to live. Not gonna be able to survive another one, though. Tries to bait out the Trump. He's gonna have to go for a re-grab. Free yeah. down air. Good call out from Frozen. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, got that punish. Really needed it. Now it's pretty much, you know, an even game. But, you know, Benny has him at the ledge. But ledge. just like this. Oh, that, I feel like Frozen isn't getting the most out of these Nair combos. Yeah, um, so Benny is mixing up his DI. So, you know, most of the time people would, you know, DI down and away. Mm -hmm. Or DI. He's dead. He died at 74. Yeah, he read his jump. He read his jump towards um off the top platform. Yeah. You know, uh, this isn't the same one. This is a different yeah. one. Yeah, but like that that was a uh, I I wasn't ready for the the set to end. Yeah, that, yeah, that was kind of um kind of fortunate. I mean, like that was a very very good read by Venia. Have you ever been spiked to the ceiling? That's what that felt like. Um spiked in the opposite direction. Happens. I mean, would you would you call that a punt? Wouldn't that be a punt? A punt, a punteroo. Yes. Maybe for three points. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's call it a punt. Like yeah, a punt. you got a yeah, spike and a punt. Yeah, man. You're just a, a little tossum. Yeah, man. Um, that's a down air. Yeah. Yeah. That was because uh, he had no invincible. Here it is. This entire exchange off of forty percent. He did three. That what a master. Yeah, calls out. He waits for. It. He doesn't even. He doesn't even like call. Yeah, he just reacts. And yeah, that was an air dodge away, man. Yeah. Um, 